strong women run in my family. In fact, they don't run so much as gallop, leaving dollops of wisdom like curdled cream on biscuits behind them as they rescue misfits from their own upbringing, singing husbands' praises to keep happy days in the household, but always having a quick comeback if they step out of line, to show the girls that it's a man's world past the front garden. But the matriarchy rules where we come from. They did not have bootstraps to hold on to. They scaled peaks in high-heeled shoes, fencing with stilettos and sore toes, leaving any man who interfered singing soprano. I come from women who made themselves worth fighting for, who ensured their soldiers had warm meals and a hot bed to come home to from war, and women who didn't want to leave all the fighting to those silly boys and enlisted. I come from women who sewed fairy tales into first day dresses for school so that no matter how cool the other kids were, you knew that you were the real princess. Strong women run in my family, strong like stone foundations, strong like midwives, strong like knowing when to run. The women in my family are made of butterfly wings and bee stings, and you know what else runs in my family? Large breasts. So I don't know what's happening here. Large breasts run in my family. It's not that I feel incomplete without bigger mammary glands, but there are certain things that ban the women in this gland together, like quilting, pancakes, and perkiness. I want to be brave like Grandma Betty when she protected her one-room schoolhouse from mountain lions, creative like Nana Melanie as she wrote plays like she designed houses, smart like Aunt Penny who can pinch a penny until it is reborn as a dollar, but I have the chest of Uncle Graylin. Speaking of my Aunt Penny, she has this saying for the girls in the family when we start slouching, she goes, please, titties on a silver platter. Now, my supposed sweet platter-worthy banquet is more of a prepubescent snack, but I shall keep my back straight anyway. This is just the one area where I don't want straight A's. It's not like I want a huge blossoming bosom, just a little more proportionate. I have enough resolve and determination to work myself anywhere, hands that can build and write just as well as they clean, and the rib cage to support apples, at least. Now this is no distillation of societal influence, no cruel fixation on the high standards of womanhood, it's just... Where are they? I was promised, nay, it is my birthright to a C cup. I mean, I'm like the women in my family already. I'm pretty clever, kind, loving, intelligent, and relatively well-grounded, so I really just want to be more well-rounded. Women in my family have huge breastplates, and I don't have anything to protect my heart. I'm nearing the end of adolescent development, so just in case my hereditary gift doesn't kick in, I will fill myself with books, recipes, fighting styles, and flower arrangements until my heart grows three times in size, spilling through my ribs, and to the wide-eyed amazement of my sisters, aunts, and mother, I get boobs.